So as you can see, I'm outdoor and I have the box of the DJI Mavic Mini 2 Costco bundle with me. This is how the box looks like. The packaging is pretty good as you can see. Some of the specifications, key specifications are mentioned here on the outside of the box. So let's dig in and open the box and see what's there inside. As you can see, once we open the box, inside we see a very nice packaging, nice bag here. As you can see here, there is a transparent plastic cover inside which the drone is situated. As you can see here, I have not yet opened the box, but from outside, you guys can easily see the drone is there inside. Also, inside the bag, there is a lot of compartments provided. Like you can see here, a lot of compartments with chains, so you can put your propellers and other stuff. Now let's open the strap here in front of the bag. And once you open the strap, there inside you see the DJI Mavic Mini 2 drone. So this is how the drone looks like. It looks pretty similar to Mavic Mini 1. Uh, not, not even pretty similar, it's exactly similar. There is no difference I find in this drone. As you open the propeller, this is how exactly the same way that you open the propeller of Mavic Mini 1 as well. The propellers are, as you can see, are strapped in with a plastic protective cover. Now I'm removing them and opening it in front of you. This is, so it looks exactly same as Mavic Mini 1. And here it says 249 grams, as you can see. This is the exactly same weight as it was for Mavic Mini 1. Due to this weight, 249 gram, in a lot of countries there are restriction of weight. So that if your drone is weighing more than 250 grams, you have to register it to the authority. But since it is just one gram below that weight, you don't need to register. So that is one of the most advantage of having this small little tiny drone. Let's see what else they are giving inside the box. Once we open the box and remove the drone, inside we have another small box as you can see. Let's open the small box and see what's there inside. So there is a one spare battery provided here as you can see. If I show you the specification of the battery, I'm not sure whether you can see it in this sunlight or not, but this is how the battery looks like. One thing I should mention is that this battery will not fit into Mavic Mini 1 because of the form factor. This is a rectangular shaped form factor, but if you see the Mavic Mini 1 battery, the form factor is a little bit different. The, on the sides, it's a little bit circular. So I think DJI did it intentionally so that no one can interchange the batteries between Mini 1 and Mini 2. Also due to this form factor, you cannot use the charging hub of that you got from Mavic Mini 1 with the Mavic Mini 2 battery. So you have to buy, the, buy it separately if you want to charge all the batteries together. So this is what it is inside this box, you got a spare battery. Then what else we get here, let's see. So we get two other, looks like two other um, controller attachments, spare controller attachments and one charger cable and some extra propellers. I can see like it's total four extra propellers. In the fly more combo, as I have seen, you get around 12 extra propellers, but on this Costco bundle, you get only four extra propellers and you get this extra screwdriver which you can use to remove the propellers. Yes guys, this is uh, really painful. Uh, if you crash your drone or if you want to replace the propellers, then you have to use a screwdriver to unscrew them and then replace it. This is just not easy to remove, basically. Then you get two uh, controller knobs, which is very good because if you want, if you lose them, then you can replace it. So it's really nice that in the Costco bundle also DJI is giving this extra knobs. So let's see what else we have in the box. As you can see inside this there is nothing. They just put some bunch of papers and <laughs> filled it in. Uh, there is nothing given in here. So I'll just keep it like this. Now if we open the main 
main compartment of the bag we see the main controller this is the controller guys this is one of the major improvement from Mavic Mini 1 to Mavic Mini 2 in Mini 1 you get a different controller which is a much smaller one but this is Mini 2 controller which is common across all other advanced DJI drones such as Mavic Air, Air 2, Air 2S all those pro quality drones you get this same OcuSync 2 controller the main advantage of having this controller over the other one is that you get extended range on the previous version you used to get only 4 km range but with this new one you are DJI is claiming that you are going to get at around 10 kilometers of range that's a huge improvement and I think that is one of the main selling criteria or the upgrading criteria if you have Mini 1 and thinking of upgrading to Mini 2. So this is the controller as you can see. This controller is pretty nice. You can attach your cell phone over here. See it really well. Also, you can see these are the controller can... knobs they have provided. There is a place where you can put the controller knobs and keep it safe so that if you keep it inside the bag the controller knob stay in place so as now as you can see i have put the controller knobs back in here here you have multiple buttons power on button of the controller then there is a knob basically which is to switch between three modes that is cine mode normal mode and sport mode if you are if you have a higher end drone from dji like the mavic air 2 or similar one you are already familiar with this controller so this is the same controller basically then you have the return to home button and in the bottom side you have the usb type c charging port which is used to charge this controller since this is a bigger controller compared to the mini one you are going to get a lot more flight time with this controller so you don't need to charge it as often as like you used to have with the mini one controller so this is how the controller looks like some other buttons are over here so this is pretty standard and good quality controller as you can see let's keep it aside and see if they have provided anything else here or not we have bunch of quick start guide instructions as you can see here since i have already used this kind of drones before i don't need to read it but if you are someone new who have not yet used any dji drones before i highly recommend you to read one of these instruction guides so that you get familiar with this with all the restrictions and everything that you that's there so inside this bag there is nothing else bunch of paper filled in the compartment as you can see it's empty there's nothing else provided they are giving only the drone the controller and two battery and there, there is a 32 gigabytes of memory card that they are giving but which is already attached to the drone on the back side as you can see here on the back side of the drone it's already attached but because of that i think costco has filled the bag with a lot of papers so that's how the costco bundle for dji mavic mini 2 looks like now i'm going to so activate drone and set it up for the first time and take it to a flight and see how the performance is then after the flight i'll give you my opinion whether i like it or not and what are the good things about this drone and if you are currently owning the mavic mini 1 or any other budget or entry-level drone whether you should upgrade to the mini 2 or not so hang around till the end of this video and see some some of the footages that i'm going to record with this Mavic Mini 2 drone and also wait for my opinion about this drone so guys let's start so after flying this drone for last week or so I am quite impressed with it previously I have used the DJI Spark and the Mini 1 but I feel the drastic improvement that the OcuSync 2.0 controller brings to the Mini 2 does give it a lot of extended range as well as more confidence while flying it from my practical experience I can tell you with the Mini 1, as soon as I used to hit the, about a mile of flying range, there was significant drop in the signal reception and multiple times signal used to get lost, leaving me in fear whether I have lost my expensive toy or not. 
but with mini 2 i feel confident that it will always have strong signal no matter how far i push it within the range camera quality picture quality especially with the upgraded 4k resolution is pretty amazing in good daylight condition it captures amazing amazing footage as you can see now if i have to tell you my opinion whether to buy this drone over mini one or not i would definitely keep this one over mini one but if you have the extra 150 dollars to spend i would highly suggest you to get the fly more combo not this costco bundle the extra two battery and the two-way charger that you get with the fly more combo definitely justifies the extra hundred and fifty dollars i will do a separate detailed comparison video with mini one and mini two so if you are interested in that definitely follow my channel as always if you have liked my work please hit the like button also i would really really appreciate if you can please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon that would motivate a small youtuber like me to produce more content like this thanks for watching i'll see you in another video